Hey YouTube, this is Everything You Pan here, and today we're going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Whistler Build 2211 in VirtualBox, the sick Everything You Pan, I should say. Uh, yeah, I'm still sick at the time of this video. It's recorded on the 4th of uh, February. Uh, so hopefully this will be cleared up uh, within the next couple days. I am uh, dealing with a sore throat and a cold. So um, you're going to be hearing me in the uh, next couple videos uh, in my sick voice so hopefully you guys aren't bothered too much by that but uh, I just need to get some more videos out for the week and the upcoming days so um, with this build uh, you know with the Whistler builds it's really weird uh, the way I've done it is I've installed uh, MS-DOS first and then changed the uh, bio state and then installed Whistler I just there's a, I just wish that it would be able to install by itself. It's weird how that works. Um, you could do it one of two ways. You could do it the MS-DOS way or you could upgrade from Windows 2000. So really it's up to you guys on how you want to do this. But I'm going to show you the um, MS-DOS method. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. I'll try and talk as best as I can. You can definitely tell that I sound different. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, we're going to create a new virtual machine. We're just going to call it uh, Windows Whistler build uh, 2211 and uh, you can set this at uh, Windows XP 32-bit I'm not sure if it matters if you do Windows XP 32-bit or if you do Windows 2000 um, we'll just leave it at Windows XP and click next uh, leave the RAM where it's at click next and now you're going to create your virtual hard drive the 10 gigabytes virtual hard drive but it's not actually going to be 10 gigabytes because of the way VirtualBox works so um, before you install MS-DOS of course it's not going to have a floppy driver so when you go into settings and storage you're going to need to add a floppy controller um, in order to install MS-DOS so I'm going to go ahead and uh, install MS-DOS quick I'll leave a link in the description on uh, my video tutorial on how to install MS-DOS uh, it's going to include the CD-ROM driver as well but you really don't even need it so I'm going to install MS-DOS quick and I'll be right back with you guys uh, once that's finished. So when you're in the process of installing MS-DOS, you need to uh, go into the machine here and go into the date and time. And you need to go ahead and change the date to the 3rd or uh, the 10th of March of the year 2000. So it should be 3-10-00 in that case being the year 2000. So once that's done, go ahead and just continue with the installation of MS-DOS. So I'll be back when that's finished. So now we're at the point where we're finished installing MS-DOS. You can remove the last floppy. And uh, you're going to want to go ahead and now insert the uh, ISO, the Whistler 2211 ISO. And uh, we're going to go ahead and click Enter to restart. And it's going to say press any key to boot from the CD. You want to go ahead and do that and it's going to say Windows 2000 setup of course uh, because they hadn't changed all of this stuff yet so it's going to be saying that uh, in this part of the tutorial so um, not everything was changed they didn't remove all the Windows 2000 stuff at all so um, it's just this is really weird about how uh, you have to have something installed before uh, the setup loads to this uh, uh, first beginning screen here so uh, hopefully you should get to this point <coughs> excuse me where uh, you're at the setup notification to click enter to continue the setup and now it says welcome to setup go ahead and click enter to install on or uh, Windows whistle or what am I thinking uh, I click F8 to agree to the license terms and you're gonna want to go ahead and uh, you can delete this partition now by clicking D then click enter and then click L to delete the uh, partition and sometimes you have to press it a couple times in order to do it uh, and you'll get the unpartitioned space of 10,000 megabytes go ahead and click enter to install on that and you're going to want to format with the NTFS file system so it's going to format your drive now and then it's going to begin copying all of the files over onto the hard drive and continue with the setup after that so um, this process will take a couple of minutes uh, so you just want to let it sit here for a little bit and it's going to do an examination of your disk and now it's going to copy the files so um, this process should go very very quick as you can see it's moving very quick for me 
and uh, then it will restart into the GUI interface for the Whistler setup. So the boot screen will still have the Windows 2000 boot screen uh, and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, so they really didn't change much on this. They didn't put Whistler in uh, all of this. So you see that the boot screen is still saying Windows 2000 Professional, but they eventually did change that in build 2257. So it's going to boot up here into the GUI interface step. And uh, now it's going to... Uh, pop up here it'll say please wait and then it'll sorry about that uh, it'll come up to the welcome to the Windows 2000 setup wizard click next to continue and uh, it's now going to install devices so this process may take just a little bit for it to complete so just let it run through and I'll be right back once this part is finished okay so uh, once it's finished, it'll come up with the regional settings here. And while it's doing the installing devices, your screen may flash quite a bit during the middle part of it. So um, now you have the regional settings. Go ahead and click next to continue after you select your specified regions. And then uh, you can type in anything for this. So um, I'm just going to type in Windows user. Uh, or you could type in uh, your own name. It doesn't really matter what you type in here. Click next. And then uh, I'm just going to call this Whistler2211. And I'm going to leave the administrative password blank. Click Next to continue. And uh, make sure that the date is uh, Friday, March 10th, 2000. And uh, select your specified time zone if you desire. And uh, so this is the correct date that uh, you need to mark down. Click Next. It's going to install the networking components, which shouldn't take too long. And then once it's finished with this, it should come up with the yep typical or custom. Just click typical and click next. Uh, you can I doubt you're going to be connecting this to a domain, so just click no and then type in workgroup in all caps down in the uh, workgroup or computer domain box. Then click next to continue, and now it's going to go through the process of copying all the files and installing uh, Whistler build at 2211. Now it's obviously it's still gonna say Windows 2000 like it is up here. And then here it's gonna say setup is installing Windows 2000 components. So uh, that's completely normal. They just did not uh, change the name of the operating system at the time. I mean, in the on the desktop it will say Whistler, uh, Windows Whistler Professional or Whistler Windows Professional or something on the bottom. You'll see what I'm talking about. So um, this obvious, this just it won't take very long. You're already on to the next uh, final tasks part where it's going to install start menu items, register components, um, and then save settings and remove uh, temporary files as well. So you see this is a very, very quick process. It's not going to take long whatsoever. So just let this finish and it's going to reboot and I'll be right back with you guys once it does so. Okay, so once it's all finished, uh, it's going to say completing the Windows 2000 setup wizard and says you've successfully installed uh, the OS, so, and it says if there's a uh, CD in your drive, you might want to remove it. So we're going to go ahead and do so. We're going to remove this, and now you can go ahead and click Finish. And then it's going to go ahead and restart your virtual machine. And you see, of course, it still has the Windows 2000 uh, boot uh, screen on this. So that's perfectly normal. It doesn't affect anything. So... There you see Whistler Windows 2001 Professional in the bottom right, right there, and then you see Build 2211. So perfect, it is working. And uh, now it'll come up with this network identification wizard. It doesn't really matter on this. Uh, just go ahead and click Next, and then click Next again, and click Finish. And it's going to log you in, of course. Still has the Windows 2000 uh, sounds. Uh, up until the later builds of this Whistler beta and XP beta, they eventually changed the name after a while, but we'll get to that in a future tutorial. So you have now successfully installed uh, Windows Whistler build 2211 in VirtualBox. Now uh, you'll see it says Windows 2000 2211 right here, but that's perfectly normal. So um, yeah, so that's basically the it for the installation. So when you're done using Windows Whistler, um, in order to keep it so it doesn't say that the uh, tr uh, evaluation expires, 
um, you're going to want to save the machine state instead of uh, powering it off. So when you're done using it, when you click the X to click out of it, make sure to just leave it at save the machine state and then click OK. Because even if you shut down your main computer, it will still have the progress. Uh, it will still have your progress saved and the date will not change, I believe. So um, you, ha you don't want to actually shut this machine down because then when you start it back up, when it's in that saved state, uh, it will come back up with where you left off on the uh, desktop and you see that it is still working. Uh, obviously, it may say that your uh, internet uh, was unplugged or whatever, but uh, that's perfectly normal. So um, there you go, guys. That's the uh, video tutorial on how to install Windows Whistler Build 2211 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching. Um, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and leave your uh, ideas for future tutorials down below or beta builds or whatever. And don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.